Welcome to Q&A with Coach Edo, and today's question comes from Carl. And it's a fairly lengthy question, so bear with me while I work through Carl's question. He's got a problem. In the back half of long run, that's more than 50k in length, I've got the urge to urinate more frequently with a much more dilute appearing urine. The background, I replace salt based on my average sweat loss, generally about 3 salt stick capsules per hour, I prehydrate and I drink to thirst. As I go longer, I feel more thirsty. You're feeling more thirsty probably because your body is starting to dehydrate, plus all of those salt capsules that you're drinking are needing to absorb moisture because salt, uh, sodium absorbs water at a rate of 10 to 1. Um, but what he's saying is that as he runs longer, he feels more thirsty. I've tried to reduce my salt intake, but tend to uh, cramp and still have similar results as far as the urine output is concerned. I'm wondering if I'm becoming uh, hyponatremic, uh, in other words, uh, becoming waterlogged, as my body is try and my body is trying to lose lose fluid in order to be able to compensate, or am I uh, getting too much salt causing an increase in thirst and an increase in urine output. Tempted to reduce my fluid intake, but I'm afraid that I will crash and cramp. Besides, I'm always thirsty at that point into my run. Thoughts and suggestions. Coach Edward, Thanks a lot for the question, Carl. Very simply, what I would look at as far as your electrolyte intake is concerned, you're talking about taking the salt caps. Have a look at the ingredients of the salt caps that you're taking and try and get more potassium electrolytes as opposed to sodium electrolytes. Because when you're t taking in sodium electrolytes, the sodium electrolytes hold on to water. In other words, that's part of what can actually help to waterlog your body is that you're taking in too much sodium. The sodium latches onto the water that causes the puffy, swelling, water retention that is often associated with the waterlogged state. If you're drinking more uh, potassium-based electrolytes, you'll get the electrolyte balance within your bloodstream, but without the effect of latching onto all that much additional water. Also bearing in mind that as you sweat, you're releasing, you tend to release sodium much more when you're sweating and as for every um, gram of sodium that you're sweating out you're releasing 10 grams of water back into your system which needs to flush through the kidneys and hence the additional u urination also when it comes to it's not running but cycling your top pro cyclists when they're out on five six seven hour training rides they're stopping to urinate every 45 minutes because they, what they're doing is, while training at an intensity level that's easy for them, they're hydrating sufficiently and they're ur urinating regularly to help flush any excess unwanted toxins out of the bodies in order to make them more efficient athletes. That's my take on the matter. Share any comments, questions, criticisms you have in the comment section down below. Don't forget, thumbs up if you like the content. Share it out amongst your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well and stay subscribed to my channel for all the new content that comes out to you daily. And remember to stay carved up for the win. I'll see you next time. Cheers.